Okay, so today we're going to talk about natural design basics. So first thing before we get started to this tutorial, I urge you to add several files, very important module files into the module folder of your project name. Okay, so go to the modules here, and as you can see, AndroidReport.coffee and Pointer.coffee. Okay. I will leave the link in the description below for you to download and add to your modules first. Okay, so this is the code section. Now, after we add the modules on the module folder of the projects here, we want to call the module name by using require. So this is how you do it. You want to type Android in this case, and then equals require and then give the name of the module here, Android Purple. Okay, so there you go. Now, we will create a simple button in this case. So let's just say button new layer here within the width of, let's say 250 and height of 80. And then with the background color of, I'd say F7, F7, F7 here. And, uh, the uh, border radius about 12 shadow color um, let's see shadow color let's say uh, GPA 0 0 0 and uh, 0 0.24 and then uh, clip equals true so this clip here what does it function okay so the function of this clip, basically, if you click the ripple, okay, I mean the button, later the ripple effect will stay inside the button, all right? So let's go with the true here, and uh, we go button dot center in this case, and the position in the center, and now this is the important pattern to call the ripple using the Android ripple module. So you want to type your layer name on events, click, and then you call Android Ripple. Watch out for any typos. Okay, so then let's see. There you go. It works. If we change this to false, as you can see, the ripple is outside of the boundaries of the button. But that's okay. You get the idea. Okay, so this is a very basic uh, material design. I hope you can improve this to your own projects. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.